okay got any idea so let's see class identity first mm, let's again take the locator yeah there is difference between the information what we have written here and the information what it is giving I don't know how we have written this probably we have spied on wrong place okay this is the actual information so what do you want to write with this expatha CSS it's up to you so in all our coming sessions I am de I dealt with expat only so let me write with CSS this time okay I need to first identify this element right okay so slash input no at the rates because this is an see that whenever you are writing the background is red here that means still the information is wrong but once completed will turn to white that means it's true it's getting highlighted this time it should click well run and see now Salesforce is getting open. See that it clicked user ID password and it clicked on login button. As we get some random information, it says our login attempt is failed. Cool. So this is how you can use CSS. Okay, and and also in this session you have learned that there is one tricky part cross checking before you write in the code. Okay cross check your component in file bug and make sure it is working then come back and write it on the eclipse so that will really help down our time if you are trying to fail something and one more thing is in CSS till now we have used our customized CSS but if you observe here there is something called slash login got it so you can write in this way also driver dot if you know the ID of the particular uh, element what you are looking for slash and that ID will also serve this is also true so we have written till now or customized or oh, CSS saying tag name attribute value if you don't want to write everything all the stuff if you want to make it simple and straightforward slash id also works if there is id for this button write down that id here copy the id write it here and before that id just put a slash that's it css will identify and it will click on it see that now the slash login it is in white background that means it is identifying okay and now if it is a class name if you want to identify something with a class name then give a dot dot and see this is the class name right okay. whenever there is a space in CSS please remember that so people always confuse here whenever you are writing a class here okay if you put a dot before the class and its CSS will understand and identifies the element if it is an ID put a hash that is a one simple way of writing locator technique okay just don't confuse with the previous one and this previous one is our customized CSS what we are doing and try to make it as a habit okay I am also saying a shortcuts slash ID also works dot class name also works okay now I am here right this is the class name and I'm giving a dot before it so one thing you need to remember here is for especially class names if there is a space between the class names remove the space and write as a dot but replace the space with a dot here there is a space replace a space with a dot okay now click on enter 
see that it identified so this is the way and if you see here there are multiple classes selected one and two three totally three classes identified that means with this class name there are totally three elements in this web page okay if you provide this information to our scripting and run automatically the first one what it web page identifies will click now username is the same username have same class name password have same class name if you see click on username input identity input is the class name right click on password input identity input so developer have written same class name for both sessions and if you are looking for password automating if you give this class name definitely script will fail because whenever selenium is trying to find out this class name first it will find this username and default it will assume that this is the component which it was looking for and it enters there so that's the reason whenever you are identifying some element use a logical way try try to find out the unique way to identify that web element okay you have id here class here type here you can use any attribute to identify password location but make sure with a smart sense make sure which makes the password field unique try to analyze so you can clearly say it as id because definitely developer cannot give password as a id for username right if you go and click here he have given it as username id is nothing but most of the cases id will be unique you know it's an underline it in most of the cases in web application id will be unique id is nothing but just like a name a okay, unique id given to a person like your employee id like that so if you feel that id is a unique use that attribute to form your location strategy okay slash id if you feel a class name then you can give that so as i told you if you want to do with a shortcut slash id name will also work or dot class name also works slash id or dot class you can use anything okay so what are your take your take ins from this session step number 1 from the last three sessions what are your take ins number 1 is verify in firebug before you run the script right i just discuss now if it is and clearly i write your xpath here css here click on enter and make sure the blue line is highlighted and whenever you move your mouse here the browser that particular part should be highlighted if it is there then only you write it in your code so rather than you know it will really save your time rather than running it and then uh, realizing that there is some mistake that so this is first thing second thing we have learned css customized syntax just it's just like xpath but a lightweight syntax so why we need to go css because css is 10 times faster than xpath but generally people go with xpath so third one you can also identify css elements using shortcuts like slash id name or a dot class name right and fourth one try to analyze your component attributes and pick up the unique attribute which will serve your purpose so i just told you an example i took class as an attribute which gave me two totally two elements right so that's not a good strategy so try to find out the unique attribute which will directly finds your web element find the unique attribute cool so keep these strategies in mind before you start coding write something verify and then follow use css or xpath go with the customized way the way i told you write it and make sure the thing what you have written is the unique attribute then definitely your script will never fail and it will run in the first attempt so keep it on this four points man and rock on okay so that's about the session in next session we will start some new concepts and we'll learn those yeah happy testing